الذي هدانا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا ان هدانا الله الحمد لله الذي بنعمته تتم الصالحات الصلاه والسلام على اشرف المرسلين واشهد ان لا اله الا الله وحده لا شريك له واشهد ان محمدا عبده والاستفاء والكافه خاطئ ارسله والصلاه والسلام على سيد المرسلين وامام المتقين وخائن الحرم المهاجرين وعلى اله وصحبه ومن تبعهم باحسان الى يوم الدين سبحانك لا علم لنا الا ما علمتنا انك انت العليم الحكيم امين so i just want you to give us a brief history about sheikh brahma nasr al dalal no ha sheikh brahma khaus saman no mashallah sheikh brahma um, like when they ask me about sheikh brahma i say somebody very easy to talk about but very difficult to talk about inshallah you know whatever good you talk about Sheikh Ibrahim is more than that sure but um to know him fully well is a very difficult avenue now but to tell you he was uh, born in 1900 1900 yes in between uh, his father was Alaji Abdullah Yas now like and uh, his mother was called Aisha Pujaka now okay Alaji Abdullah Yas his father was called uh, his mom was called Amina Cham. Cham that's where our Cham is now mm, that's the Cham, Cham from that's the Cham from. link there no. so because um uh Sheikh Ibrahim was named after his uncle oh okay who was uh, Ibrahim Makil Cham so that's where the charm come that, from yeah charm come from mom samba charm our great grandfather, grandfather now and from that lineage come up to this say uh alaj abdullah sheikh ibrahim's father his mom was amina charm so check every every gambian that is named charm all 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 of them come from the same charm yeah have... from the we have an old charm there mm. but those they speak an other language mandinka but for me i said if you trace your root mm -hmm. there is no charm mandinka all are from tukulu from from food so our charm come from other from here and senegal from okay. gambia senegal they all come from food from the same yeah from from same tree it's a big tree man no. sample charm no. No. so it's a big 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 family no. you know no. so from food down you know to senegal so sheikh ibrahim rodi allah taala anu like i said was born in 1900 uh and from his childhood mm -hmm. his father has high hopes because you know the father like abla was a, an awliya of allah no. he has made the tafsir of the quran in the 104 times no. tafsir he is the first uh, sheikh in senegal and gambia who visited fast morocco he used to ha have four visits because one was he want to have an ijaza without limit yeah you no know, people go to fast to make jar to share with each other so at that time it the way to fast was difficult it was not like that you no. take boat and, boat and all that no. yeah so many people did not visit fast many people have their ijaza through link mm -hmm. you know the way the the ijaza come from Sheikh Ahmed Tijani to Muhammad Hafiz Singiti in 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 Mauritania Muhammad Sa'di Singiti gave to Maulud Fall Maulud Fall is the one who initiated Sheikh Ahmed Fututal Sheikh Ahmed Fututal is a talent talent so our that charm even go up to where the mother of Sheikh Ahmed Fututal also is charm so that link so Alaji Abdullah was given an religious support limited mm -hmm. You know there are religious as different category. No. Limited religious you can give only 10 people if no. it's finished not. No. So but when they give say Allah Jalla like that religious he knows that his his murid is more than that. So he intend going to fast to have religious without limit. Mm -hmm. One. Two to have to make ziyarah to share with Allah. Yeah. Three to have four beats among the beats of share with Allah. And no. four to have a, at least is a thread of hair. No. Oh, so these are the four things that warrant him to go to, to, go to fast. Now. And when he went to fast, to cut story short, he went there without knowing nobody. But he went just to the um, to the mosque. And when Maghrib come, people start coming. Come. He joined them. Pray over Maghrib and do wasifa. He didn't know anybody. No. But during the wasifa, mm -hmm. he somebody was sitting by his side. Mm -hmm. with a nice sense with nice voice and now in a 
you know, doing zikr fast. No. So after, no. after the wasifa, when he was going, then the guy touched him and said, you are like, like go, what brought you here? Go to that person, <laughs> pointing and to no, the imam. No. You'll be surprised yes. because he doesn't know the person. Yes, exactly. no. That was Arab Ibn Mubit, mm. was the Khalifa of Sayyidat at that time. Oh, you were sitting by him? No, 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 that one was sitting by, but the one who was directed was sitting by him. No. When he finished, the wasifa, he said, go to that man. Okay, you direct him to go yes, and see. and ask him your visits. So Elijah Ablai, in that state, he was going and forgot to ask the man your name. No, his name no. After he took few steps and turned, he didn't see the man again. He's vanished. He's gone. So he went up to the person who they pointed him to. Before the person, before he could say anything, he said, Alhamdulillah, you are Elijah Ablai, yes. Allah Akbar. So they know him, but he doesn't know anyone. Spiritually, because mm. I had to, how do you know? He says, Say, Abba Tijan told me of your coming that time, you even didn't prepare coming yet. Allah. And he said, You want the Ijasa? Say, Abba Tijan have a command also give you Ijasa, Idla. <laughs> Without limit. You want four beads? This is the four beads from a trade of here. Mm. Yeah, but the last beast is, we cannot give it to you because you go to the tomb of Shahid Tijan and pray for it. Because that is so we, to, what, what was the last wish? Was to have a son, son. Nah. of Akhirusam and the nah, Fida. Nah. Because nah. everybody knows about the coming of the Fida. Mm -hmm. It was pretty tech. If but you nobody knows no. where. Okay. If you go to the the, the what we call the encyclopedia of mm -hmm. the Tariqat Tijania, Jawariman, you know, it was predicted the Fida, but nobody knew who. Mm -hmm. So everybody was looking for it to pray for it. So Elijah Abli went to pray for that. They told him, your fault wish, you have to go there. As he was about to go, he said, do you know who directed you to you, to mm -hmm. me? Mm -hmm. He said, no, I was looking for you. He said, that's the Lord, Allah, Allah, Allah. So the, that's why people who dispute certain things, so many things are happening that you, your mind cannot comprehend. comprehend now. So he went to the tomb there, praying and praying and praying. For three days he was there. Up to the third day, then he saw the sign. Allah, Allah. And his prayers was accepted. He saw the sign. He saw... Like he was like sleeping, but he's dozing. Then he saw the image of Shehbra. Yeah, no, no. And that time Shehbra was just seven years. Hmm? Back, Back home. home. In Gambia. No, in Senegal. In Senegal, no. Yeah. So he know that the, uh, his prayers is answered. When he came back home, that's why before he passed away, he gathered all the children and told them, I think my prayers are answered by Sheikh Tijani, but the one who is it's going to be among you. It is not me who give it to him. It's not, it's not his mother. Anyone who will be the owner, please, I beg you all follow him and know that this is a wish from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He was telling all his children. Yeah. Because you know these kind of things, you know, mm -hmm. when, happen, when it happens, jealousy mm -hmm. will start. Definitely, yeah. Especially if Abraham was among the young. Mm -hmm. Because the elder son of Sheikh Abraham, uh, of Aladi Abraham, is older than Sheikh Abraham by 20 years. His elder brother. Yeah. He's older than by 20 yeah. years. That was the first Khalifa of Shah, so he could be his father. So if you see a, a small boy under you, mm. just imagine and decide if you are not that Allah, you, you might not Definitely be no. able to comprehend Definitely it. No. That's why he advised them. When the time comes, all of you follow him. It is not me who give it to him, mm -hmm. it is not his mother, it is the will of Allah. So that's why, so that's why in 1929, entering 30, that's where the fight start. it started. That's where he called and when his brother was leading the Maulud, mm -hmm. he said, Abraham and Mas Marim, some of his brothers were the people singing the Maulud, the Hamsia, and their elder brother was doing the Tafsir, no. you know, preaching to Fajr, you know, so that was on a Friday, you know, just around 8 o'clock when the Maulud was over, as they were conveying their brother, as usual, mm -hmm. to his home before they dispersed. Mm -hmm. that that's where the authority came from. Came to shame. Yeah. No. Just gave a loud cry. Mm. That Anna Nafsu wal Afa, Mama Raita Ha, Tarani Fa Inni Kulun, Fa Inni Dorabi. Said, I am Sehu Tijan. Whoever wants to see Sehu Tijan, look at me. Allah. <laughs> Whatever you want to, to ask Sehu Tijan, ask me. And the brother was sitting there? Yeah. And whatever Sayyid to you used to give out, ask me and I'll give you. <laughs> so that, that, come on, everybody was mesmerized. What is, what is he mm. talking about? 
So that was the day now when the fight started, mm. and that was the day when the struggle started. Mm. It was not easy. Who is this child? Some of them said he didn't finish his learning. Where? What? <laughs> what is not that? No. <laughs> so Allah's gift come, mm. and that's when everything started. So that's why I say, Brian, when we say he's said, you don't say he's. If you want to ask. The, the the importance of a person you look the people around him inshallah no, no. just check say Abraham no. who are the movies of Shebra? Shebra. No, no, no. go to Ghana go to no. Nigeria no. go to inshallah. Sudan go no. check it is the sex who no. are the movies of Shebra. Shebra. No. so he's more than a sheikh yeah because oh, one of his sex okay no. check, check, take example chief imam today inshallah how many a lot <laughs> huh? a lot and he's one of the Muhammad of Khalifas of Sayyidina. Sayyidina. No. Go to Nigeria, go to Chad, go to Sudan, Shabuchi, go to China, Stai, Say Atai, Bochi, Say Salisi, and uh, you know, all, all these people, mm. they have Muridis. A lot of them. A lot of them, and they are educated. Very, very educated now. So then who is Say Abraham? That's why I say it's difficult to comprehend when you come no. to that side. Mm. He is the people, his Muridis are the only eyes of Allah. All these people are only so far. No. To the highest level. Mm -hmm. So who is who is, who is he? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 Mashallah, if you mm -hmm. check the Tariq Hatijan is the same. Sheikh Hatijan, look who, who, who are the followers of Sheikh huh? Hatijan? No. Just pick out Sheikh Ibrahim. Is he not? In, that's no. So that's why if you want to talk about Sheikh Ibrahim, mm -hmm. you know that this person is not ordinary. And all what you want to know, knowledge, sahir, what part you know, he is there. He can, he, they name him Sehul Islam, not because a title that I now see everybody calling themselves no, 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 Sehul no, Islam. No, Sehul no, Islam no. is a title that was given to him no. in the Rabbi Tatu Ulama Islamia. When all the muftis, muftis, the people with their red cap, mm. were present. And they test you in all kind of knowledge. Every kind of knowledge in Syria, they test you. To say how knowledgeable you to are. To say how knowledgeable you are. That's where they name him Sehul Islam. Because he covers everything. Every aspect. No. You ask him about Syria, every aspect he covers. So he becomes Sehul Islam. They give him the title Sehul Islam. You cannot be Sehul Islam when you don't know no, yeah, all this is true. So yeah. that's why he was the Sehul Islam and then he get that mantra and he became the vice president of the Rabbi Tatu Ilama Islamia when they set up that ulama, the whole mm. Muslim league. Muslim league now. He was, he, was, it was, he was the only one from all West Africa mm. who was there. No. And it was Ustaz Barham Jo who was his secretary, always sitting down by. He was the only one allowed to take out, take secretary to somebody to take notes for him. He was the only one. He was the only one. Barham Jo will sit down taking notes. They allow him that mm. because they know his knowledge. They tested him. They know his knowledge very well. Mm. He is the only black person up to now who lived in Jamia Aksa Mosque in, in Egypt. Egypt. No black man. They don't allow. It's only people who are qualified from the University of Ashan who will be Imam. He's the only person who was given that privilege to lead the Juma in Jamia al Allah. Still now, I've never had anybody again. So that's why he is somebody who is known internationally. No, no. Up to China. Worldwide. Well, 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 so no. Alhamdulillah and also he trained mm -hmm. his kids, his children very well. Mm -hmm. Charlie has got 75 children. Yeah, according to what people say. say now. Yeah, so they, they said 75. Um, for him, anybody who was born, he put it on the list. He wrote all. The day you are born, the time you are born. Mm -hmm. and from, <laughs> you, know, yeah. you know, they, they keep records. Mm -hmm. That's why I say, Abraham, everything, his thing is all recorded. Now. That's where we, we are looking. But the problem is, to compile it and bring it into, like, make it a book. No. You know, still now, there is a lot of work to be done in the fight. Mm. You know, because he did a lot of work, his mm. travelings and other things, you know, wherefore we are. All those things should be documented for the future generation. Mm. Because that will 
I realize that is every is everything is 75, 75, 75, 75. Yeah, it's, you know sometimes 70, 75 children, 75 books, 75 the, the year he died, 75 and all that. He wrote more than 75. Though some books are not published. Published now. But maybe the ones that they published, that's what they call 75. Mm -hmm. You know, people um, sometimes we we do what we call uh, the 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 psychological thinking in the way that. You try to frame everything mm -hmm. in his life pattern. No, no. You know, to say, okay, he was born in 1975. Yeah, 1900. Uh, nine, uh, 1900 to 1975. 75, no. So 75 years. Some say 75 children. Mm -hmm. uh, he passed away in 1975. 75, no. 75 books. No, all no. Yeah, but there is more to that. No. You know, um, somebody who is coming to be an, a khalifa of somebody. There are certain signs that you should fulfill to show us that you are the successor. Right. 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 When Rasulullah was so commanding so Sayyid Ahmad Tijani, when Sayyid Tijani was ready, he saw the signs. Was the Prophet appeared to him in Abi Sankhul and told him, Dahkullu shiukhi kawasar anta wala di hakat in the year 1196 al Hijra and give him the tarikh. Right. So that straight away, then that's the time the call came to him. Mm -hmm. Then. We can see that Sayyid Ahmad Tijan sat on the throne from uh, 1290 because the Tariqah, the virus came down for four years. Four years now. 1196 up to 1200. And then in 1200, he sat on the throne of Maktoub. Where he said, Hadaban al Hathani Allah Rahmati Kulli I place my feet on the neck of all Walis and become. So, but he sat on the throne for 30 years. 30 years. From uh, when he was. 46 years, the Prophet appeared to him, give him the tariha. Four years, he become 50 mm -hmm. and sat on the throne. He lived for 30, uh, 80 years, 50 and 30. So he sat on the throne for 30, 30 years. years. Oh. And he got 80 and passed away. Then we know that, really, what you say, Khatmu and Khatmu, the seal. Mm -hmm. The person who is coming to succeed him will come when he is 30 years. Because the Makkah, he sat on for 30 years. 30 years. So that's the sign. The sign number one sign. This, sign. Is a, this is a sign that many people don't don't know. Mm. Huh? So he said thirty years. This one was born in nineteen hundred, and in nineteen thirty he claimed the file. Oh, so no, thirty no. years. Thirty years now. All right. What is uh, this? The the two makams. If you add the two makams, should be the life span of the Sahib will file. He sat the two makhabs. Mm -hmm. If you, he, this one, Sayyid mm -hmm. Ahmad sat on the throne for 30, 30 years. years Sheikh Ibrahim cannot live on the throne for more than 45 years. If you say 1930 to 75, is 45 years. 45 plus 30. 75. 75 now. So that will be exactly his life. Mm -hmm. So that's where we calculated. Not, all, not only so he passed in 75, but what is it? What is the reason behind, the reason behind it? No. Because the two makams should be the life pattern, the, the, the uh, lifespan of the that person. Sahib will find it. So he shouldn't pass that? No, that. no, no, he cannot pass that because he sat there 45 years and that one 30 years. 30 years. So 75 comes again mm -hmm. to show him that he, his life is 75. He, he will live for 75 years, but he will sat on the throne for 45 years. But if and that all the human beings, Bani Adama will follow him. Because if you count what 45 is, 45 is Adama. Adama. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you write Adama, it's 45. Alif is one. Dal is four. Mim mm -hmm. is 40. 40, 44, 45. No. So it means the whole of human being will follow yeah, him. Yeah, the whole is Adam. <laughs> the whole of <laughs> no. Adam no. will follow, will no, follow no, him. No, no. So there are lots of things that you mm. cannot say mm. in public, no. but there are a lot of signals that, that show us that he is the Sahib fighter. Nobody claimed that he is the owner of the fight. He was the first, and all the signs, the predicted signs that Shia mm. uh, predicted was seen in him. The time the fighter will come, mm -hmm. a time of difficulty when people mm -hmm. were hungry, mm -hmm. lack of clothing and everything. Mm -hmm. Just imagine, this was just after the Second World War. No. 
when they was destitute, everything, hungry, no thing, you know. Mm. That's the time when the fire come. No, no. But they analyze it in an other way. But they, that's the analysis of Sahib. But the other analysis means when the Sufis say hungry, it's not food. food. No. Hungry for Allah. Mm -hmm. When they say thirsty, thirsty for Allah. Mm -hmm. When they say lack of clothing, a lack of clothing of Ihsan and Iman. No. They will say the fighter will come to a time where so many sex will claim to be sex in their own right, but nobody could lead you to Allah. Mm -hmm. And it's happening. Yes, and people will be hungry for Allah. Mm -hmm. Because the soul needs to dwell someplace mm -hmm. and is hungry for Allah. Nobody can take you to Allah until when Sayyid Abraham comes. So that's the time when the fire comes. Everybody was confused. And everybody was calling to say, and you have people coming to your door, and they want something, and you know that you cannot give them that mm -hmm. thing, mm -hmm. but you don't want to tell, tell them. them now. You don't know. <laughs> you just want to leave them. <laughs> exactly. Now. So that's the time when, in that time of mm -hmm. confusion, disarray, and mm -hmm. difficulty, that's the time when the fire comes, when Sayyid Abraham comes. Now. Yes, Allah. Alhamdulillah. So will, they, will somebody come after Sheikh, after Sheikh has gone? Will there be anybody? Not to claim as being a fighter. Fighter is one. There are, we had so many propaganda people calling, <laughs> we are the success of Sheikh Ibrahim. No. They no. don't know the spiritual setup. Mm. There is a setup for everything. You can, everybody inherits Sheikh Ibrahim of something. Mm -hmm. In your own capacity. Yeah. In your own Once you are a murid, you are, you, are, you are an inheritor, you inherited something from him. But that I am going, I am the Sehutija, or I am the, the Sheikh Sheh Ibrahim. That's nothing. Because the Makam of Sehutija, uh, Sheikh Sheh, Sheh Ibrahim, mm -hmm. if you know what the Makam of Sheikh Ibrahim is, you know that there cannot be another. It's like somebody telling you that there will come another prophet. <laughs> no. It's not possible. It's possible. No, sure. It's like somebody who is telling you there will come an order uh, awliya who is above Sheikh Utija. Mm -hmm. He's a Khatim in uh, uh, Bilaya. No. That one is Khatim in Nubo, this one is Khatim in This one is Khatim in Faida. He is the Abu Faida, Sahib Abu Faida, who close Faida. Mm -hmm. So these are the four stages that happen. Allah, in his uniqueness, send the Prophet as a Rasulullah, as a close Allah. Prophet who send Bilaya after Nubo, Bilaya. When we lie comes, then it's fine. What will, what will come again? No. All what you do, you will do in the arena of fire. No. All fire will do, he will do in the arena of tariqah. Mm. All what tariqah is doing, he will do in the arena of Islam. No. No. So, <laughs> no. 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 so no. you can be a Khalifa of Shaykh mm -hmm. yes, in your own right. Somebody else could be this everywhere. That's why he have his muhaddams everywhere. No. But it's just propaganda. Mm. I am the Khalifa, I am the success of Shem, right? No, 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 no. Who no. told you? <laughs> no, mashallah. Shay, thanks very much for this knowledge. Thanks very much for this knowledge. And Shay, what advice do you have for we the Muridis? Because now I can see there are some divisions in the in the Tarika. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see this these people claiming this, this claiming that. So what advice do we have? You need some people who are following this Sheikh and they don't like to be following this Sheikh or insulting this Sheikh. Yeah. Yeah, so what advice do we have for them, we the Muridis? It's very sad, it's just lack of what we call the spiritual journey. No. Sayru. Uh, if you follow your spiritual journey properly, mm -hmm. you would not dare to say anything bad to any other Muhammad Mwad Mwad Shaykh. No. We are all connected to Shaykh Ibrahim. No. Shaykh Ibrahim is the Khalifa, true success of Shaykh Utijan. Shaykh Utijan is the true success of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So who are you abusing? If you abuse the Shaykh, who are you abusing? You are, you are, you are causing Shaykh Ibrahim direct or Shaykh Utijan. That's why Shaykh Utijan said, do not hurt each other. No. If you hurt any Muridi, it's, you are hurting me. No. That's what Shaykh Ibrahim said. Mm -hmm. But it's because of lack of proper training. And now, I don't even believe them, I believe the so-called sex. Everybody wants to be a sex mm -hmm. and you are not prepared mm -hmm. to yourself. Mm -hmm. Who is sex? What look Murabian, Khabiran, Nasiran, Kamil Efani, Imam and Salihan? These are, these are the criteria that Sir Abraham said, this is the sex that you so should that follow. That qualifies you to be a sex. 
But now you will come and see somebody will ride the gas for you, give you, start drinking your attire and call yourself no, Sheikh. No. And you cannot even, you are not that prepared for your, by yourself. And if the you, person himself knows that he's not prepared. He's not. But he's just leading people astray. That's right. Just because of earthly, earthly you know, achievement, no, no, wealth no. and all that, no, you know, no. fame, people no, following you. No. But you know yourself, you know, you are not even prepared in yourself. If you are not at peace and not prepared by us, how can you prepare somebody? No. That is what called all the confusion. All this division, Muri this abuse of other people, they are, they haven't got the spiritual journey. Who are you cursing? For what? The Sheikh is a representative of Sheikh Ibrahim. You are cursing him. You are cursing Sheikh Ibrahim. So who? Who told you that your Sheikh is better than anybody? Your sheikh is your sheikh. He gave you, follow him to achieve more knowledge. But not go there, you know, abusing people, especially elders. And they are doing something dangerous because Allah said, anybody who cause my awliya or hurt my awliya, prepare a war against me. Mm. May Allah forbid that. Mm -hmm. Because they are just burning themselves in a fire that they don't know. What I advise the Muridis is, mm -hmm. let them reflect back. But not only the Muridis I am advising, I am, I am referring to the sheikhs themselves, mm -hmm. the, the so-called muqaddams mm -hmm. themselves. Mm -hmm. Let them re revisit themselves properly. Mm -hmm. Are you truthful to yourself? Mm -hmm. Do you really know what these people are asking you for? Mm -hmm. You don't know it. You don't have the knowledge. You don't have the qualification. Huh? Because all these criteria Abraham said in the rule of Adam. If you haven't got those qualities, go and fight with yourself and get those qualities. No. No. But if you don't have the qualities, the people you teach will not have the qualities. That is why all this friction is happening. No. They've, they've once asked me this question back home. I told them it's no. nothing but the sex, so called sex. Because now everybody wants to be a sex. So is there something that you get from that? Like right. when calling yourself like a sheikh, is there something that you get? Pride. Pride and well, maybe people come give you your things, they follow mm. you, you. Mm. <laughs> nothing. But if you know the danger, if you know the danger of being followed, subhanAllah, <laughs> you hey, hey, no, for me, I say, not me, me, I'm, 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 I'm fellow, I know, no, me, mm. I like to be. Mm. Down there, no, see no. people who want allow me share mm. with them. No, sure. I don't even want nobody call me share or no. anything like that. No, 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 mm. no, no, no. But the danger of being followed, they don't know because they follow you and they they hoping to achieve something from you. And you maybe don't have that thing to give you them. You don't have it. Most of these people don't have it. You go to somebody, they write Rijasa give you. Now Rijasa is just like a newspaper. Mm. I am a Mukada. Have you? Have you? It's not like you say, I am a master's, I am BS, um, we understand you to be given an honorary title. Mm -hmm. For example, they said giving you master's as honorary, mm -hmm. but you haven't passed the university. Mm -hmm. So you are not meant to do any job. Mm -hmm. you, are, you are just being honored. honored yeah. There are some who you are just being honored mm -hmm. and giving one, maybe you are doing good work. They mm -hmm. just honor you. But that doesn't mean you should train anybody. Mm -hmm. yeah, because you're not really qualified. If they give you doctorate mm -hmm. as just honor, you want to operate somebody and you have no, you're not qualified. You are not qualified. No. So this is the problem. Mm -hmm. The Muhaddams are the problem. Mm -hmm. If the Muhaddams are not well educated, the Muridis will get lost and they will get astray. But I advise the Muridis, if you follow somebody a whole year, go and sit down and check yourself what have you achieved. No. Don't be a fool. Mm -hmm. If you follow a person the whole year, working for him, giving him your idea, listening to, go and assess yourself. Where was I when I was coming to this man, and where am I today? Mm -hmm. If you do your self-assessment, you can you can you can know whether you know where you stand. <laughs> exactly. Mm -hmm. And most of these things, they just use what we call tasteve. Tasteve is trying to find fame. Okay, right. uh, they come, they write some business. Uh, put it in water or food, everybody eat, they will start following the past. If oh. you without knowing why Is that what some of them do? Ah <laughs> well, we, are also, we know we know <laughs> we know there are not a secret because no. you can you can see some people mm. fooling people. Mm. 
you know this is not ordinary. They don't achieve nothing. Not education wise, mm -hmm. not wealth wise, nothing absolutely. But they're still there. They don't know. That's what you call task care. That's so really no, dangerous. That's dangerous because that is the, uh, you just want to have fame, let them work for you, give mm -hmm. you chips. So, no, 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 no. But the danger is coming in the future. The future. No. And if all those who have tried it, and we are claiming false claim, mm -hmm. their ending is never good. No. Their ending is never good. We've seen it in Senegal, Senegal and Gambia. Mm -hmm. All many people claim I am Sheikh Ibrahim, I am the one who earned inheritance. <laughs> yes, no, to say it and people follow you because maybe you uh, do some Ismu, mm -hmm. people follow you. Follow him now. <laughs> Just give him a few years, his ending is it's bad no. ending. They have no. all of them, they have bad ending mm -hmm. because I was Sheikh Ibrahim Sheikh. <clears throat> Anything who make a false claim against me, it is the mechanism of the fight that, that will inflict you out. Mm. It is. So let, let, let's let the Muridis, if the Muhadams are mm. not sober enough to mm. tell the truth, no. let the Muridis check themselves, themselves no. and come together. We what is the be. difference? If you be all unite, we all love Sebra. Oh, well, we all love one thing. Mm. Why should we be separate? And it's going on a lot. It's half unite because it's, that is not for Allah. Mm. It's so not for I even hear them on the social media sitting there insulting Shukana. Sir Sheikh is sad. It's very but sad. But one thing I used to tell them, you know, when the Audi is over, you will never hear them reply to me. No. You know why? Because for them, they are taking that as a trial. From and testing their feet. Yes. The Hadara will try them. They, they will not ask anybody to go and fight for them. They will ask nobody. They will not even reply to those people. Mm. But they don't know that those people are harming themselves. themselves no. It's like if you are cooking, cooking mm -hmm. food. Mm -hmm. If you go back home, mm -hmm. you find firewood. No, no. And put it to catch fire. Mm -hmm. For your food, for your food to be cooked good no. and ready for you to eat. Mm -hmm. All the firewoods must perish. Definitely no. So those who are abusing the Aulia they are the firewood that will so cook it. Perish. Yeah, the more you abuse mm -hmm. the Aulia, the more Allah is elevating no. him. No. Because he is always exercising pressure. Because it's part of the package. Wow. To become a shark is not easy. It's you, part of the package. If you have patience, you can't. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's number one. Patience. Yeah. Allah will even try you first. Send people to inflict pain on you. you to see. see your reaction. Yeah. If you are prepared to lead people, you have to be tolerant. Mm -hmm. Down to earth. Be humble. Shay Brian never closes his doors to anybody. Like no. I see people do. No, no, no. no. There was a lady who came to him for big, big problem because he had problem. And he told that when he come, he will sit there at least a week before he could have chance to see Shebra. No. As he entered Medina, mm -hmm. he met Shebra and has prayed Asher already and was doing his will and was doing like this at the gate. Good now. He came, Salaam Alaikum. Shebra said, Walaikum Salaam. Salaam no. He said, Sirin Bilai Laite, in the hour long, mm -hmm. I'm asking for the Sheikh. Mm -hmm. Then and she didn't know him? No, <laughs> because he was not even doing Toba, he was just mm -hmm. normal, normal car. Well, you know. no. He said, I'm asking for you, say, say, what was your mission? Mm -hmm. He said, no, I said the share. Ah. He said, yeah, just tell me, tell me your mission. He no. said, then the guy came on, he just kissed his teeth. Mm. You see, in, in our language, they said, <laughs> Bur -ai, -ai, they said, you know, the king mm. is not the bad one, it's the gods who are bad. bad. <laughs> So, she, so she, 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 the gun. <laughs> that's the person's talk. Yes. Yeah. So that's what he's even said. Mm. And he passed Shebrah and went to the other gate. You know, if you know Medina, if you pass Shebrah, you go to the other gate. On the, when you enter, that's the women. We are the women quarters. So he went there. Salam alaikum, alaikum salam. Mm. They, they they welcome him to his thing. Say, I come to see you. They say, okay, sit down. They sit down, give him water, drink. They mm. give him food. He drink. Say you wait. They went inside to check whether the shake is a bit uh, free. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then after they come and say, come, let's go. He said, where? He said, you want to see me, yeah? No, no, no. He said, mm -hmm. yes. So he went, they took him to sex out. Mm -hmm. As he entered the house, he saw the person who was he on the bed. Yeah. The <laughs> on the bed like that. No. His, his, his leg fell, fell her. Mm -hmm. And he fell down. 
Say, so I want to say, tell me your mission. Listen, what is no. your mission? But I asked you at the gate and you didn't. <laughs> now. Sheikh Shmael said, what is your mission? Now. He was so panicked. Mm. And then he said his mission, Sheikh Ibrahim, you know, solved his problem at okay. the same time. Oh. When he went out, Sheikh Ibrahim Jung said, I know that woman, the solving of the problem becomes very small to him. But you know what mesmerized that woman? Mm -hmm. Is the simplicity of Sheikh Ibrahim. No. Unlike other chefs who go and have to wait for days before you see them, mm. and no, no, this man you come inside mm. and <laughs> for you. Somebody who is prepared to, 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 to serve people. If you close your door, how can you serve them? You can't. So the humbleness is part of it, mm. patience is part of it, mm. simplicity is part of it, knowledge is part of it. Check all the big Muhadams who are really on the right track of Shah. No, Wherever you see them holding no, themselves, no, 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 no. even a small guy could take them. But no. all these small muhadams here, they want calling to star, big, no. big, big boo boo. No, 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 no. Let the let the Muridis be conscious. And Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, living here too in abroad is not easy. Mm -hmm. So we the Muridis here, sometimes, some, sometimes you see, was Wazi far, Ailala, not many people come. Mm -hmm. So what advice can you give us? Is that we living here in abroad? I think this dunya, one way or the other, is going to end. Inshallah. Each day of your life decreases your lifespan. No. And each day takes you nearer to your graveyard. No. The question you should always ask for yourself is, what do I prepare for my graveyard? No. When I am meeting the Lord, what do I prepare? No. Because you are not going to take your pounds there. You're not going to take your knowledge or education or your, 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 your who you are. The good deeds that you do, the work that you work for Allah, is what you're going to benefit from. Being in the Western world, let it not deprive you from following your team mm -hmm. and following your culture. Mm -hmm. Know who you are, know where you come from. You were back in a cultured place. You came here and you want to change your style. Who are you? One way or the other you will die. Mm -hmm. Sooner no. or later. Mm -hmm. So it's better to come together, know your deen, and respect your culture. If you do that, wherever you go, they will respect you. No. There is a proverb in our language that says, if anybody decides your culture, wherever you go, mm -hmm. you won't fit. No. You cannot be a wild man. No. They don't want you. They are discriminating. No. You, you, you can't be a Briton. No. You are African. You can, even if you have British passport, okay, that doesn't yeah. take you. Yeah. Know who you are, where you come from, know your culture, and know your religion, your team, and practice it. It wouldn't harm you. Go to Juma if you can. It's difficult if you if you don't plan yourself properly. Now, how gone are the days where you say we are going to the Western world, we get lost. That was a long, long time. Mm -hmm. But now, whatever you want to know in the day, you can know here in the yes, Western, even more no. than Africa. No, no. So if you don't want to know, you don't want to know. Mm -hmm. They say this is a land where whatever you want to be, you will see somebody who is more than... Mm -hmm. if you want, whatever you want to do, you can mm -hmm. do here. So I advise the brothers here, especially us from Africa, mm -hmm. you come here, you come for a mission, mm -hmm. fine. Do your work, worship Allah. Inshallah. This is what the Prophet said. So Divide you your time. No. This give to your family, mm -hmm. this give to Allah, mm -hmm. and this work. Inshallah. So this is what Shaykh Ibrahim taught us. No. So being in a Western world should not change your attitude or change your way of life. No, no, at least you should try to emulate the good things and utilize them. Mashallah. And there is your dean here, your people are here. Come together, join them and make something out of it. Mashallah. Thank you very much. <laughs>